Hi everyone, data scientist Luna here. Today I'm going to talk about how I became a data scientist from a community college student who did not speak proper English. If you're new to my channel, I'm a data scientist. I work remotely in the US and I've been a data scientist for more than three years in retail industry. I moved to the States when I was 18 by myself. It's kind of called a runaway. So I grew up in Korea where college entry exam is really important and I failed. I was like, so let me go to the US and maybe I can start something new. Some people ask me, how were you so brave or were you not afraid of going to a new country by yourself? But when you think about it, when you're 18, you don't really think that much. You just, oh, I think that's cool. And then you just do it. And that's what I did. The huge problem of that was um, I didn't speak English. So in order to speak some English, first I went to language school and then I went to community college of San Francisco and that's where I learned to speak and write English. My English was so bad, I made so many mistakes. I used to tell people I work at a math lab. Actually, what I meant to say was I work at a math lab because I was tutoring mathematics at a community college. Anyways, there, I took a statistics course and I was like, oh, this is really fun. I want to major this. Same year, I applied to transfer to UC Berkeley. I studied statistics and I learned more about actuary. I thought I was going to become an actuary. So I studied those exams. I passed a few exams. I had an actuary internship. But guess what? I couldn't secure an actuary job. So I just found a job. I was a merchandise planner at our e-commerce company. Then there, I got to work with data scientists. And they were working on event forecasting, dynamic pricing. And as a statistics major, seeing like time cities, all this machine learning actually being used in business seemed really cool and fun. So I decided to go to a graduate school to get a master's degree because I was told in order to become a data scientist, you need a master's degree. I mean, there are people who become a data scientist right out of college with a bachelor's degree. But I think as an international student, if you have master's, I think it's much easier to get a data scientist job. So I got into a few schools. I got into Cornell, Michigan and Carnegie Mellon University, and I decided to go there. And this was a nine months program. This was just two semester. During the semester, you take a bunch of classes. So I took machine learning course, I took Python course. Uh, by the way, Carnegie Mellon programs are amazing. Um, I liked every single professors that I had. My Python skills got thousand times better. I actually did so many machine learning projects during that program, which I was able to leverage during my data science interview. And I had a master's in statistics, and then I applied probably like 700 jobs. Because I was applying for basically every entry data science position during that three, four months I was job hunting. Among all those job applications, I got back from 30, 40 companies that gave me an interview. And out of those 30, 40 interviews, I got to final rounds interview with four companies. And these four companies uh, all gave me an offer. <laughs> Guys, even though you're an international student, if you have the right skill set and you can demonstrate that during your interview, they are going to give you the offer. And the average salary of all these four jobs were like 90K. And I wanted to share this story because I know a lot of people feel like they're not in the right place or they're international students. Oh, data scientists job is such a competitive field, which is true, but I was speaking broken English. I was going to a community college, but I was able to make it step by step. 
If you put the right time and effort, I believe you can become a data scientist too. And if you want to know more about how like, I became a data scientist in detail, what kind of interview preparations you need to do, how do you do networking, I'm planning on making more videos, so please subscribe and like, and that really helps me to make more videos. Thank you.